All right, well, Ford is cutting the price of its electric Mustang Mach-E while boosting production of its cars. Ford seems to be in a tight spot. Like, seriously, it feels like they're giving away free cars. Yep, you heard it right. CEO Jim Farley just spilled the beans. We really believe in the consumer experience for an EV, and so we want the next ones to be more affordable. Ford's been having a tough time getting people to buy their cars. And this is Ford we're talking about, the big name among automakers. Why are they making these EVs cheaper? Well, the answer, put simply, is competition. But don't worry, they've got a plan. To jumpstart those sales, Ford is dropping prices, hoping it'll get them back to its glory in the competitive and crazy auto market. So what else have they got on their agenda to surprise its competitors? Let's find out. Ford struggled to keep up with the EV market. Honestly, the car market is changing fast. Like, EVs are taking over, inflation's driving prices through the roof, and the supply chain. Let's just say it's a complete mess. All of this has got companies like Ford sweating to the point they had to start lowering their prices. Farley's move to cut prices shows he knows what's up. Inflation's eating into everyone's budgets, and with interest rates climbing, buying a new vehicle isn't as easy as it used to be. By reducing prices, Ford is hoping to bring more buyers back, especially the middle class. But here's the thing, it's not just a quick fix for today's issues. Ford's looking at the long game. They know if they want to keep up with the fast-moving auto industry, they have to stay ahead. And they're not alone. Pretty much every car maker is feeling the pressure right now. It's a wild race out there, and lowering prices is just one way these companies are trying to keep their foot on the gas as they navigate this shifting landscape. Clearly, Ford is feeling the heat, especially in the electric vehicle game. Sure, they've got some cool models like the Mustang Mach-E and the all-electric F-150 Lightning. It has been the most popular vehicle, not the most popular truck, the best-selling vehicle in America. But the competition? Let's just say it's insane. Big names like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid Motors are making things tough. Talking about Tesla, they've also been lowering prices left and right. In fact, Elon Musk has turned the Model 3 and Model Y into medium price range, keeping Tesla miles ahead in the EV race. We have three different types of electric cars and Tesla is another level. Now, Tesla's got a bit of an advantage they make most of their stuff in-house, giving them more room to control pricing. Ford, on the other hand, is still shifting gears from gas guzzlers to electric powerhouses. That's where the struggle shows. Ford wants to be a major player in the EV world, but getting there isn't an easy task. Tesla's got the lead in production, battery tech, and brand coolness which means Ford's still playing catch up. So even though it's so simple, it still creates some sort of identity for RS. Tesla's price cuts have really shaken things up across the industry. In 2023, for instance, they dropped the price of the Model Y by a few thousand bucks, making it one of the most affordable electric SUVs out there. This bold move had everyone, Ford, GM, you name it, scrambling to adjust their prices too. Ford's Mustang Mach-E and Chevy's Bolt suddenly had to compete in a new pricing league. So, yeah, the EV battlefield is wild, and Ford's trying to hold its ground against Tesla's relentless price-reducing strategy. And Ford's recent price cuts? Yeah, you can thank Tesla for that. Tesla's been using its cost-cutting superpowers to push legacy automakers like Ford into a corner. But it's not just Tesla giving Ford a headache. Rivian, Another up-and-coming American EV maker has been turning heads with its electric pickup, the R1T. It's loaded with cool features and packs some serious performance. Even though Rivian's still revving up its production, it's already eyeing a good portion of that electric truck market, a market Ford is banking on with its F-150 Lightning. It's not just Tesla and Rivian, though. Ford's also got some tough competition from the usual suspects. General Motors, for instance, has been super ambitious with its EV plans, aiming to kiss its gas-powered cars goodbye by 2035. GM's been rolling out electric models like the Chevrolet Bolt, GMC Hummer EV, and the Cadillac Lyric. In a lot of ways, GM's doing what Ford's trying to do, but they've managed to hold their ground in key areas like SUVs and trucks. 
That's putting even more pressure on Ford to lower prices just to keep up. And people love their Mach-E's and Lightnings, and they're gonna like the new ones even better. Meanwhile, Japanese automakers like Toyota and Honda have been playing it smart. They haven't rushed into the all-electric race, but are holding their own with hybrid models that appeal to people who aren't quite ready to go fully electric. Particularly, Toyota has been smashing in the hybrid market with hits like the Prius and RAV4 Hybrid, keeping sales steady even as the EV craze grows. As for Ford, it hasn't had the same luck with hybrids. Their efforts in this space have mostly been overshadowed by Toyota and Honda's more popular models. Over in Europe, things aren't looking good either. In fact, Ford's got even more competition, especially from Volkswagen. VW's been making big moves in the EV world with cars like the ID.4 and the funky ID. Buzz. Their strong brand in Europe, along with the EU tightening emissions regulations, has made Volkswagen a serious rival, forcing Ford to fight even harder to keep up as the push for electric cars speeds up. But it's not just the competition that's giving Ford a hard time. The bigger picture shows how the pandemic and changing consumer habits have shaken up the whole car industry. Ford's eyeing economic pressures. At first, when COVID-19 hit, there was a rush to buy personal vehicles since people wanted to avoid public transportation. But then, as the economy took a hit, sales tanked, with fewer people able or willing to make big purchases like new cars. To make matters worse, the global semiconductor chip shortage that started in 2020 is still a nightmare for automakers. Modern cars rely on these chips for everything. Infotainment systems, safety features, you name it. This shortage has slowed production across the board, forcing companies to prioritize more expensive, high-margin models. For Ford, this has meant delays in getting popular trucks and SUVs out to eager buyers, further adding to their headaches. In response, Ford's lowering vehicle prices to match the shrinking wallets of potential buyers. Sounds like a smart move, right? But it's risky. Ford's price cuts mean some versions of its Mach-E will not be profitable on a per-unit basis. Dropping prices means shrinking profits, and with raw materials like steel and aluminum getting pricier, Ford's stuck in a balancing act, trying to stay profitable while still making their cars affordable. As Ford pushes ahead, their success will depend on how well they can deal with competition, economic challenges, and the big shift to electric vehicles. Sure, Lowering prices might give sales a quick bump, but it's not the magic fix for the deeper issues they face. If Ford wants to stay in the game long term, they've got to step up their production game. Shifting to EVs isn't cheap. Ford's already poured billions into new EV factories and battery plants, but only time will tell if these investments will increase production and cut costs. And of course, they still need to untangle their supply chain to dodge future issues like the ongoing semiconductor shortage. Another big challenge for Ford is managing its brand image. For over 100 years, Ford's been known for making tough, reliable vehicles, especially in the truck world. The F-Series, like the F-150, has been America's top-selling vehicle for decades. Ford built a solid reputation for producing hard-working, durable trucks. But with the automotive world shifting toward electric vehicles, the company's got to figure out how to hold on to that image while still appealing to eco-conscious buyers looking for greener options. One of the reasons Ford is cutting prices is because consumer preferences are changing fast. Today's buyers are more informed, tech-savvy, and care more about the environment than ever before. People want cars with lower emissions, or none at all. This has led many to consider EVs, hybrids, and plug-in hybrids instead of traditional gas-powered cars. And let's be real, millennials and Gen Z are way more into going green. Studies show that they're more likely to buy an EV because of its environmental benefits. Ford's making some moves in that direction with its Mustang Mach-E and F-150 Lightning but the competition is fierce. Brands like Tesla have really captured the attention of younger, tech-driven consumers. Plus, today's car buyers aren't just looking for fuel efficiency. They want tech, and lots of it. Things like autonomous driving, advanced infotainment, 
and top-notch safety features are no longer nice to have, they're must-haves. This shift has raised the bar, forcing automakers to pack high-tech features into cars at every price point, not just the luxury models. I mean, Ford has made some solid investments in tech, like its Copilot 360 safety suite and Sync infotainment system. But they're still up against tough rivals like Tesla's Autopilot and tech-heavy competitors like Rivian and Lucid Motors. To stay ahead, Ford will need to keep upping its game in the tech department and make sure its vehicles are packed with the latest features. And you know what? Ford isn't the only one trying to deal with the EV craze. Legacy automakers and newcomers alike are all fighting for a slice of the electric vehicle market. And then there's Tesla. As the world's most valuable automaker, Tesla has pretty much set the standard for what people expect from an EV. With its cutting-edge tech, impressive range, and that Elon Musk tag, Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y have become top picks for anyone wanting a sleek, premium electric vehicle without the luxury price tag. Ford's decision to cut prices isn't just about competition, it's also about the high cost of building EVs. Making electric cars is a whole different game as compared to traditional gas-powered vehicles, and it's proving to be more expensive and complicated than many automakers expected. One of the biggest hurdles? Batteries. They're the priciest part of an EV, and they need materials like lithium, cobalt, and nickel, which are in high demand and tough to come by. Ford had its fair share of headaches trying to lock down a steady supply of these critical materials. To keep up with the growing demand for EVs, Ford secured long-term deals with mining companies to get their hands on lithium, cobalt, and nickel. In 2021, they made a big move by announcing twin battery plants in Kentucky and a new EV production hub in Tennessee. These investments are crucial for scaling up their EV output, but these projects take time to get fully up and running. In the meantime, Ford's dealing with supply chain struggles that are slowing down how many EVs they can crank out in the short term. Manufacturing electric vehicles also means Ford has to embrace some new tricks, especially when it comes to fitting batteries and electric drivetrains into their rides. They've invested a ton of cash into updating their factories and training their workforce. For example, the F-150 Lightning is made at Ford's Rouge Electric Vehicle Center in Michigan, which is all equipped for EV production. While these investments are crucial for Ford's future in the EV world, they come with hefty upfront costs that put a strain on the company's finances. On top of that, there's the ever-changing regulatory landscape, which adds another layer of complexity. Rethinking Supply Chains Ford's move towards localized production Governments around the globe are tightening emission standards and pushing for more EV adoption, but the rules vary from place to place and can change overnight. In the U.S., the Biden administration is aiming high with ambitious EV goals and wants to boost charging infrastructure. But the political scene is anything but stable. Over in Europe, countries like the UK are planning to ban new gas-powered cars by 2030, but they're still planning out the details. For automakers like Ford, navigating this shifting regulatory maze just makes the already tricky transition to electric vehicles even more complicated. A big part of Ford's game plan is vertical integration taking the reins on more of its supply chain and production process. This strategy aims to cut costs, boost efficiency, and enhance quality control. It's a formula that's worked wonders for Tesla, allowing them to make cars faster and cheaper than many traditional automakers. Tesla's Gigafactories, which manage everything from battery production to vehicle assembly, have set a benchmark for others trying to streamline operations. Ford is hopping on this bandwagon too, with significant investments in its production capabilities. An important aspect is battery production, the priciest part of an EV. By making their own batteries, Ford hopes to cut costs and dodge supply shortages. Their partnership with South Korean battery maker SK Innovation is key here, leading to the formation of Blue Oval SK, a joint venture that will build two battery plants in Kentucky and another in Tennessee. These facilities will supply batteries for Ford's next-gen electric rides, 
including the F-150 Lightning and Mustang Mach-E. By handling battery production in-house, Ford reduces its reliance on outside suppliers and gains better control over the quality and performance of its EVs. But that's not all. Ford is also aiming to take control of its electric drivetrains, another vital EV component. By developing these parts internally, they can fine-tune them for their vehicles and lessen dependency on external suppliers. This approach allows Ford to innovate at lightning speed, experimenting with new designs and tech without waiting for outside companies to catch up. As vehicles get more high-tech, software is becoming crucial for performance and customer experience. Tesla has led the charge here, with cars that act like computers on wheels, receiving over-the-air updates that enhance performance, add features, and fix bugs without a trip to the dealership. Ford is catching on and is investing heavily in software development. Future Ford vehicles are set to feature more sophisticated, interconnected systems, promising a smoother driving experience and quicker innovation. So yeah, Ford is clearly stepping into the future with its new rides, like the F-150 Lightning and Mustang Mach-E, all equipped with an innovative software platform called Ford Power Up. Think of it as their version of Tesla's magic touch. These updates can enhance and optimize the vehicle long after it's been sold. Ford's really doubling down on developing its own software for electric and self-driving cars, believing this will set them apart in the automotive showdown ahead. A key player in this game is their partnership with Argo AI. Together, they're cooking up a fully autonomous vehicle platform aimed at ride hailing and delivery services. On the software front, Ford is also jazzing up its Sync infotainment system and rolling out features that let you control your car from your phone, like locking doors or starting the engine, all thanks to the Ford Pass app. As Ford looks ahead, software will be at the heart of the driving experience. This transition brings both challenges and opportunities. Sure, developing this tech is a new game for Ford, but if they nail it, they'll attract a whole new crowd of tech-savvy buyers. Now, let's talk about autonomous driving. This is where things get really exciting. With Argo AI in its corner, Ford is aiming for level four autonomy, which means cars could drive themselves without any human help in specific conditions. They're already testing this tech in various US cities, with plans to launch a commercial autonomous service soon. While we might be a few years away from full self-driving, Ford is bridging the gap with advanced driver assistance features like Ford Copilot 360 and Blue Cruise, which allows for hands-free driving on select highways. Sustainability is also on Ford's radar, and they're serious about it. The company aims to be carbon neutral by 2050, with electric vehicles leading the charge. By 2030, they're targeting 40% of their global vehicle sales to be electric, including commercial rides like the all-electric transit van. This shift not only makes Ford greener, but also aligns perfectly with changing government regulations and what consumers want. Thanks for watching the video. Do you think Ford will be able to keep up with the evolving EV market? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.